In the news tonight, teachers prepare to return to the classroom under certain conditions, says the GTU. Is that the Ministry of Education and by extension the government do just what the previous administration did. Take into consideration the meager salaries that teachers are receiving and that no teacher would lose pay. And convicted rapists who escaped from Mazarin prison on Wednesday remains at large. The government's refusal to meet with the Guyana Teachers Union 10 days into the strike is having its effect on the nation's children. This is one of the eye-catching placards at the demonstration in front of the Ministry of Education today held by students. Teachers across the country are out of the classroom demanding better pay. Now while the teachers are out of the classroom, children most affected are the ones writing CXC with submission of SBAs taking place and students writing the NGSA exams. General Secretary of the Guyana Teachers Union, Coretta MacDonald, says there are some conditions before teachers return to the classroom. Um, GTU is simply asking that, one, for us to resume our talks, we have to first have the Ministry of Education with immediate effect um, restart the deduction of, of the Jews. Uh, the deduction of teachers' Jews is where teachers have legally written to the Ministry of Education giving them permission to deduct $700 from their salaries and remit same to the Guyana Teachers Union. So that's one of the first conditions that we're going to be asking for. The second condition that we will ask for is that the Ministry of Education and by extension the government do just what the previous administration did. Take into consideration the meager salaries that teachers are receiving and that no teacher would lose pay. Thirdly, we would ask that the Ministry of Education come to us with a counter-proposal so that we can start our talks from that standpoint. McDonald said her union is sticking to its multi-year proposal submitted to the government since 2020. We do, have to, we do have to stick to that one because that proposal spanned five years. We're into 2024. Teachers have not been able to receive their benefits um, that were supposed to have been accrued over those years. So we have to look at that agreement before we can move on to a new agreement. We have to look at that proposal as a matter of fact before we can move on to another, agreement, uh, another proposal. Shortly after, the union president Mark Light in a Facebook Live said the private sector should be concerned over the teacher strike and the effects it can have on many sectors. This news house understands that the private sector commission is ready to be a broker between the Ministry of Education and the Guyana Teachers Union. McDonald responded. We would not want to have the government decide who they want to have as they, as they broker between teachers and the government. We would prefer to have us submit some names and we look at those names, we look at all um, Who's, in, who's connected here, who's not connected there, and who would be fair, and then we can identify somebody. But, you know, we don't want the government to just jump there like what we were having uh, previously. Somebody turned up and I, I'm the arbitrator. No, we don't want to have that. We want to be able to check, find details, who this person is or who the persons are going to be. The GTU General Secretary, who is also a head teacher, said when the government is prepared to talk with the teachers' union, members will decide. As you would have noted yesterday, the, gov the vice president, who I guess is the spokesperson for the government, he said that he is not prepared to talk to teachers. So whenever they're prepared to talk with us, our members will decide that they're going to come off the streets. In the meantime, we hear about the care and the care and the care of this government, but yet our students who have to write CSEC, whose SBAs are in jeopardy at this time, the government is not taking that into effect. We have our pupils who are going to be writing the grade 6 assessment exams. The government is not, apparently, the care is not there anymore for them. But as teachers, we are willing and ready to resume duties as long as the government decides that they want to speak to us meaningfully. As of today, the union said there has been no indication by the Ministry of Education or by extension anyone from the government of a willingness to speak with the union. And you know, you might say, I, I keep repeating it. Ali himself in 2018 said, what about the teachers? Aren't they important? Well, understand how important we are. But I want to flip the question. Are you parents, your children in school, their home? How are you feeling as parents? How are you feeling? 
I'm a teacher. I'm a parent also. My son is out of school. All right, my children. Some of the school's children are going, but they're telling you it's only um, CPC teachers and a few other teachers in school. But we're going to remain outside. You want to know what's going to happen next week? Don't ask me, let me tell you. We outside. <laughs> Washi. Hi people. Washing made so easy since I found Washi. Washing me use wash me clothes and I can say. Washi soap powder wash clothes so nice. Washi soap powder leave your clothes color bright. Washi soap powder leave me clothes smelling nice of course. So give thanks to Washi soap powder for doing my laundry in right. Keep my clothes color bright. Have me clothes smelling nice for sure. I could not ask for more. Comes in lemon and original. It is a washing machine in a pack. Wash your soap powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash your soap powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash your soap powder, have my clothes smelling nice, of course. Distributors located in the Starbrook market. Planning an elegant or corporate event? Let the experts at Star Rentals equip you. Give your event that spectacular five-star experience it deserves with the options of transparent tents of various sizes, indoor and outdoor formal bars and cocktail tables with LED lights, stage, podium with lighting, portable AC units, generators, executive portable washrooms, outdoor light tower, and much more. Call today, 226-3020, online, www.starrentalsgy.com. Star Rentals, we got you covered. The Guyana Public Service Cooperative Credit Union will be hosting a special general meeting and elections on Saturday, March 2, 2024. The meeting and elections will be held both virtually and in person in the various regions. Members in Region 4 will be allowed to vote at the Critchlow Labor College, Wilford Avenue. The meeting will be held from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Members are asked to be on the lookout for information regarding online voting and regional polling places. Full participation of members is encouraged. Let's let us move your credit union forward. A man sentenced to serve a term of 15 years for rape escaped the Mazaruni prison on Thursday and remains at large. Mazaruni, located on an island in the Mazaruni River, is used mainly for male prisoners serving lengthy prison sentences. The escapee, who has been identified as Akin Wong, escaped the facility after seeking permission to use the bathroom. Prior to the escape, Wong and another prisoner, identified as Gilbert Gill, were laboring in the wood bush under the watchful eyes of prison officers, a statement from the prison authority said. Five minutes after Wong failed to return from the authorized bathroom break, the officer made a check and discovered him missing and sounded an alarm. 
Presently, the joint services, the statement said, are using every effort to capture the escape prisoner. Prison authorities are urging the public to exercise caution and report any sightings or information regarding Wong's whereabouts to the authorities immediately. For these and other stories, do visit us at our website www.rdproductiongy.com.